hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be doing my skincare favorites of 2018 so if you would like to know what my favorites were for the whole entire year please keep watching first i want to say like i said in all my other videos i am fighting the never ending cold so please excuse me for that if i sound a little off and i don't have as much energy i'm struggling over here but you guys know i'm still committed to bringing you guys the videos that i love and i hope you love as well so let's get right into my favorites i'm gonna start with I'm gonna start with fragrance. I decided to include fragrance in my skincare because you put fragrance on your skin, so why not? And unfortunately, I can't smell these today, but my first fragrance I want to share with you guys is the Giorgio Armani C. And I got this probably like during the summer, and it is one of my favorite scents, you guys. This is so sexy and classy. It almost smells like caramel. When I wear this, men notice it and flock to it and they love it so if you don't want attention from men if you don't want them coming up to you asking you what you're wearing you might not want to wear this because it attracts men like crazy but this is one of my favorite scents it's so grown up it's so mature I always say that it reminds me of the more mature version of Prada candy that one's a little too sweet for me let's see if I can smell it no not at all this one smells just like a more sensual version of like a caramel but not too sweet but just very classy super super sexy this is one that i wear in daytime and night oh i never noticed there's like gold trim around the bottom but yeah this is something i would wear during the day and night if i was going to wear this to work i wouldn't spray too much of it because it can be very overpowering but it's just such a beautiful scent and i highly highly recommend it okay my next scent is something that i got for christmas last year and this is good girl going bad by killian and you guys i remember the first time i tried this if you guys watch any of my fragrance videos you know that i get very excited about fragrance i love scents and fragrance evoke emotion for me i think about when i first tried it where i usually wear the fragrance to in terms of the occasion and this is just everything it smells regal sexy feminine it's floral but it's not too light. It has a certain heaviness to it. It's everything. It's probably by far my favorite winter daytime scent. I would wear it at night, but for me, it's a little light. I mean, it's a heavy scent, but the floral is a white floral. And so I tend to wear those during the day. I probably wouldn't wear this to work because it is so intense and it's a little more sexy of a scent. I like to tailor my scents according to how I feel, what I'm wearing and where I'm going and the appropriateness of the occasion. But this is definitely, it's a good girl going bad. Like you're a good girl, but when you smell this, you just smell like a bad girl, like a good kind of bad girl though. But this is just everything. And I'm sorry, that's a vacuum going on. I hope you don't hear it. Okay, next I want to go into body care. The first item that I love is something that I've been using for a couple of years now, but I found a new scent that I love. This is the Dove Dry Spray. If you have not tried Dove Dry Sprays, try them out or any dry spray for that matter. I hate the feeling of deodorant under your arm getting clumpy after a day especially when it's really hot outside this doesn't do that it's dry to the touch it doesn't get clumped up at all it just dries right into your skin and i don't know which scent this is called i think it's called nourished beauty but i'm not even gonna smell it because i won't be able to smell it's a very light scent and i actually like it better than the traditional dove scent um so this is one with the blue cap i just love this yes a deodorant was my favorite because you always have to smell nice like a lady right okay and next up I have two lotion type items my first is the Josie Marin body butter I always rave about this product I used it today as my lotion I have two of these I think this is the hmm, this might be the lavender one once again i can't smell but this is awesome i used to keep this on my desk at work and people would come into my office just to use it it's that great it's very hydrating it doesn't leave your skin feeling greasy at all it is very expensive as well but i am a big advocate of really high quality skincare especially if it's going to leave you very hydrated i keep some of this in my car there's just nothing worse than a woman with dry hands like i just think as a lady there are certain things we 
we have to be mindful of. Clean, moisturized hands is definitely one of them. And this is one of my favorite products and I just love it. Josie Marin Body Butter. The next one is something that I don't have right here with me. It's actually in my car and it is the Kiehl's Creme Decor Body Lotion. And this is actually something that my mom put me on. So shout out to you, mom. My mother is not into skincare and beauty like I am, but she's into staple quality, great products that work. And I think one of her friends actually gave her this body lotion and I tried it. She actually gave it to me. I keep it in my car. I introduced one of my friends to it. It is like the lotion that keeps on giving. It is so amazing. It's so emollient. It's even more hydrating than the body butter, but it's a little easier to use because it comes in a pump now it is quite expensive I believe for the size bottle that my mom uses it's about $60 but I'm telling you guys your skin is important okay it's the biggest organ on your body and especially as we start aging it's very important that we are keeping up with our skincare if you're looking for a really nice high quality very hydrating body lotion try that out it also isn't very scented so you can wear your other fragrances with it and it won't interfere and that's what i love as well but that is just whoo it just makes me happy okay now more into our traditional skincare the first thing that probably makes it on every yearly favorites is my up and up target brand maximum strength 10 percent benzoyl peroxide gel and this is for acne i love this spot treatment now i get breakouts every so often i've been getting a lot of them this month i don't know why maybe it's because my insides are just all out of whack because i keep getting sick but this is the most amazing product and what i love most about it is you can find it at target for under four dollars and it helps to just really dry up those um acne or pimples anything like that now i feel like when it comes to acne spot treatment there are two types of people um i'm gonna need you to not let your dog get in my i just feel like that was rude she just let her dog pee in my yard but like she walked into my driveway and he peed right where chloe peed she's not gonna have that anyway i feel like there are two types of people when it comes to acne spot treatments there are people who like salicylic acid and there are people who like benzoyl peroxide it really just is a matter of what your skin can tolerate better i find that with salicylic acid it's just a little too strong and it kind of like burns my skin which doesn't make it any better after you clear up the acne then you have a scar and although i do always scar i really just like benzoyl peroxide one because it kind of bleaches the skin in the same process so you kind of can lighten any scar that you may get but I find that this is a lot more soothing and it just works really really well okay the next item is my favorite moisturizer and this is for fall and winter it is none other than the belief aqua bomb this is what I'm currently using I always talk about how much I love this it's so soft it's so cushiony hydrating it has a nice light scent it is just literally everything. I love it. When I run out of it, I have to go immediately repurchase it. If you have dehydrated dry skin in the fall and winter, or if you're normally very oily in the summer and spring, this is something I would highly recommend. Um, there are two versions of it. The Aqua Bomb is for more of the combination oily skin and the... The other version is for the more so dry or normal skin, but I cannot live without this belief. I wish you would just like send me a ton of this. I live by it. It's so amazing. I'm always constantly telling you guys about it because that's how much I love it. I seriously can't live without this. My next moisturizer is actually my night cream, and this is the Lancome BNFE Multivital Night. And I really like this because if you guys watch my skincare videos, you know that in the morning I like to not really strip my face, but I don't like to add any moisture. And at night I like to really load on my moisture and hydration so that in the morning my skin is well balanced. So at night, this just provides all the hydration I need without being super, super thick. I think for anyone in their 20s who has oily skin or normal skin, this is just really great it does say normal to dry skin but I think if you have dry skin this might not be hydrating enough but I love this product I put it on at night and in the morning my face looks very hydrated
hydrated and glowy and it is amazing okay my last item is actually a hair care product because hair grows out of your scalp so I figured let's add this into skin hair favorites this is my Joico K-Pack Intense Hydrator. I'm basically out of it, so I need to go repurchase it before the year is up. But I recently started using this again. So I was previously using my Shea Moisture hair mask, which I love. But with those, I find that I have to do like an hour deep hydration. And I don't mind doing that, but sometimes you kind of just want to get up and go and not have to hop back in the shower. So I started using this probably around the summertime, and I love this so much I call this my flash deep conditioner mask because I put it on my hair and I leave it on for only about five minutes and I get the same results as I do with my deep conditioners that I have to leave on for an hour so I really love this product I do have relaxed hair so I'm not sure how this would work if you have natural curly hair but um, I really do love this product so check it out if you have not tried it and those are all the products that I have to share with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what were some of your skincare favorites for 2018. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.